Example 5 is more or less the similar type of question like example 4, except only in this case that we're dealing with um, a positive x square and therefore a minimum quadratic curve rather than a ne um, negative, which is a maximum quadratic curve that we saw in example 4. Okay, But the question is exactly the same in the sense that we are supposed to be doing complete the square. Okay, so this is the quadratic equation that we are supposed to express into this form. Alright, so let's get started by doing it step by step one more time. So we'll take out the 2 because we have to make the x square, the coefficient of x square to be positive 1. And therefore I take out the 2, uh, 6 divided by 2, that will give me a 3x. Uh, negative 3 divided by 2, that will give me a negative 3 over 2. Alright, so remember to put a big, big bracket outside. So this will be the first step of our completing the square. The next step will be... Of course, we will now take a look at the coefficient of x, which in our case is a 3, right? So we'll add 3 divided by 2 square. Okay, but we know that we cannot just add any terms we like. Okay, so we have to minus away the same term so that we don't change anything at all. Okay, so um, here we go. Alright, so we add added something and we minus away the same thing so basically um, there is no effect to it okay so this will be well equal to this and this will be equal to this but what we have done is we have changed the three the first three terms here into a perfect square so these three terms can now be expressed as a perfect square like this and of course what is left behind we just simply have to work it out Okay, and of course, um, here, you can use your calculator to help you with the calculation. So we have, um, what is that, 9, negative 9 over 4 minus away uh, 3 over 2. That will give us a negative 15 over 4. Okay, again, you can do that um, using your calculator. Alright, so the next step is, of course, to multiply in the 2, and we are almost done there we go okay so we have 15 over 2 all right and here we go this will be in the form that they wanted okay so we know from here we can find out the values of a b and c so very simply just by simply comparing we can tell that our a is equal to 2 whereas b is equal to 3 over 2 and of course c is equal to 15 over 2 Okay, so this will be the values of our A, B, and C. We have calculated the A, B, and C. We have done the first part. All right, so let's take a look at the next part. Hence, find, part one, the minimum value of this quadratic equation and the corresponding x value at which the minimum value occurs. So, like we have discussed earlier on, all right, after we completed the square, Right, we are given. I mean, we will be faced with useful information, like where's the minimum point, the coordinate of the minimum point, right? So, um, by looking at this, you should know that this is a minimum curve because um, it is a positive x square, so it's a U-shaped curve, and therefore there's a minimum point, all right? And you should know that the coordinate of this minimum point will be will happen when x is equal to negative 3 over 2. So the coordinate of the minimum point will be negative 3 over 2. And when that happens, your y will be negative 15 over 2. So this will be the coordinates of the turning point, the minimum point. And therefore, the minimum value of y, okay, so you have to answer the question. The minimum value will be equal to negative 15 over 2. Alright, and that happens when our x is equal to negative 3 over 2. So you have to learn to answer the question to what they want. Okay, so let's take a look at the question one more time. Alright, there we go. Find the minimum value of um, your quadratic equation, okay, and the corresponding x value. So as per what we have seen here. Okay, the minimum value is negative 15 over 2 when the x is negative 3 over 2. Alright, now the last part of this question, 
we are now asked to sketch the curve. Okay, you know, we are now asked to sketch the curve. So, how do we do that? Well, of course, the first thing that we need to sketch a curve will be the x and the y axis. Alright, so this is what we need. Now, the next thing is, of course, well, what do we know about this curve? Okay, we know that this is a minimum curve. It has to be a U-shaped happy face curve. Okay, we also know that it will have a minimum point at this point, right? Negative 3 over 2. So, we mark a point here when x is negative 3 over 2. Alright, y will be uh, negative 15 over 2. Negative 15 over 2 is, well, somewhere here. Okay, again, it's a sketch. So, we don't have to be accurate to the scale, right? So, uh, we know that, aha, there we go. We have one point already. Okay? Now, from the look of this curve, you know that this is a minimum point. You will have to cut the x-axis at two points, right? So, in any sketch, you have to go figure out, right, what is the x-intercept? What are the roots? Okay, and how do we figure that out? Well, we have t to take a look at the original equation. Okay, which is 2x squared plus 6x minus 3. So, let us copy down the equation once more. Okay, so we have y equals to um, 2x squared plus 6x minus 3. Isn't it? Now, the first thing that we would try to do uh, would be to try to factorize this so that we can find out where are the roots, right? Okay, um, but when you take a look at this, you realize that, hey, it is not easy to factorize this because I think, you know, you won't get a very nice number. So what do we do? This is when our complete the square form has another use. Okay, so since we know that the complete the square form takes a form like this, so let us copy down again one more time, lower here, so that we can see how it works. So after completing the square, okay, this is what we got. Okay, so let us copy it down one more time. Minus 15 over 2. Now, what are we going to find? We're going to find the x-intercept, isn't it? So to find the x-intercept, all we have to do is to let y equals to 0. And so since this is y, and y is equal to 0, all we have to do now is to just work this out to find x. Okay? So it will be a lot easier than uh, to try to factorize this um, quadratic equation here. Alright? Another way we can do this will be to use the general formula. Okay, the general formula for quadratic equation, and of course, uh, from then we can also uh, figure out the x value. Okay, so in this case, uh, let us work this out. Uh, work this out very quickly. We get 15 over 4, right? And we'll have to square root both sides. We have, we end up with uh, x plus uh, 3 over 2 will be equal to square root 15 over 2. Well, plus minus. Okay, so we know that x will be equal to negative 3 over 2 plus minus square root 15 over 2. Okay, so these are the roots. Alright, and you know that there will be one positive root and one negative root. So, when we draw our curve, when we are supposed to sketch for our curve, okay, we must indicate the roots. So we know that this is a minimum curve, and therefore you'll look a little like this. Okay, and a little like this. Alright, this point here and this point here will be the x-intercept and the, that will be the root here. So this one will obviously be a negative root. So it's negative 3 over 2 minus square root of 15 over 2. So the right-hand side one, okay, will be a negative 3 over 2 plus square root of 15 over 2. Okay, and of course, we also have to give the y in the set, which is going to be rather easy because all we have to do is to let x be equal to 0. So when x is equal to 0, we get y is equal to minus 3. Okay, so this is the complete sketch of our curve. Alright, so remember that whenever the question asks us to sketch any curve, any lines, we must always label our x in the set our y-intercept and our turning points. Okay, in this case here, we got the turning point easy, um, but then we have to spend a little bit of time to try to find out the x-intercept as well as the y-intercept. Exactly.